Hi everyone, welcome to Her Say. I am so happy to be here with Daphne yes. from CoolMom.com. Hey, you come to my site next, okay? I will, I love it. <laughs> and we're here at Latitude 33, home of Her Say. Okay, our first story up is from Mommyish. Diamond companies can take their push presents and shove them, is Ooh, what this story is that saying. That sounds painful. So, what do you think about this? I, I have to say I'm pretty pro push present. I'm not necessarily pro diamond. That's a very political thing. Um, my husband gave me semi-precious and Manolo Blahniks so. though. Well, there you go. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I really wanted? <laughs> I wanted a little laptop so that I could take pictures and video of yeah. the kids. That was that was my big you know question. And and I didn't do it the first time, but the second time I was like, come on, babe, could I please, you know, I have two kids with you. Oh, like, I, a little I think there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, when, when there's milestones in my husband's life, not the same as shoving a human being out of his body, but you know, <laughs> I'd give him a present too. On She Knows, they talk about the stuff that women do that guys hate, which I bet we could have guessed some of these. There's obsessing over weight, Gossiping, they don't get it, they don't get the gossiping. <laughs> Nagging and silent treatment. Now I have to say, I'd never do silent treatment. I'm, no. I'm pretty, you're probably like me, like, but, but, but I'll tell you why I'm mad at you, right? right? Well, yeah, I'm very <laughs> straightforward, but it's really funny because the nagging, like literally last night my husband was on his device, you yeah. know, his technology, and I was yeah. like, can you just stop? Because I can hear the, the keyboard. Did he stop? And, no, of course not. <laughs> you know what I say about nagging? If you did what we said, we wouldn't have to. <laughs> All right, so our next story is from Babbel. Is a summer camp for kid hackers brilliant or bogus? Now this is crazy because they're training the kids to be hackers. They are, but see, they want them invested in technology and having fun. I, I think, you know, if we don't use technology for good, what are we doing? I, I, I think it's a total moral wrong. I mean, I'm not gonna put my kid in a summer camp to like how to pick a lock, how to hotwire a car. <laughs> Maybe I should. Now here's a test to see how permissive of a parent you would be. Uh, the stir is talking about this kid who will potentially be the youngest person ever going to space, part of that Richard Branson, you know, rich people can pay to go into space. <laughs> so now he, he'll be 18 when he goes, but he was 16 when his parents put him on the list. So the question is, would you be comfortable putting your daughters on the list to go into space? Well, a little secret is that I desperately wanted to be an astronaut. So I would have to say, if my children were anything like I was, yeah. you know, and if I could afford the training <laughs> and everything for them, I think I would encourage them to follow their dreams. So lay in space. Okay, so our next piece up is on chalkboard paint. Oh, love that. It's one of the coolest trends in home decor, and Jamie Morris and Curtis from Daily Candy Kids and Prudent Baby shows us how you can make it on your own for a fraction of the cost. You don't have to spend a lot of money to buy a gallon of chalkboard paint. You can make a small amount, and you can make it in any color you want at home for just a couple dollars. You just need two things. You need flat interior paint, which is the kind of paint that you would paint most walls of your house with and you need some unsanded tile grout. I just picked up the little samples of paint that you can get at the paint aisle at any hardware store for a couple dollars in a few colors that I liked. And then I got one pound of non-sanded grout, which also costs a dollar. And then you need something to put it in and something to stir it with. So I like to use mason jars because they're inexpensive, kind of adorable, and they have a lid so you can save your chalkboard paint for later. And then something to stir with like popsicle stick. And then later on, when you actually are ready to paint, you'll need a foam paintbrush. Just use one of these little foam ones, they cost a quarter. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our paint into our jar. Then we're gonna add our grout. So for a sample size paint like this, about a tablespoon will do. There's two tablespoons per cup of paint. And then you just wanna stir it around. And now your chalkboard paint is done, and now we're ready to start painting. The first project I did was I just had these little square vases sitting in my cabinet and so I took some vinyl and I cut out a shape um, to use as a stencil. Dab our foam brush and paint in our stencil. And then you can do whatever you want, give it to your kid or maybe write names on it and use these as a place setting. I'm just gonna draw a little heart on here. Another fun thing to do with your chalkboard paint that the kids will love playing with is to make them a little chalkboard tile, which you can use as coasters or as decoration or as a little traveling chalkboard. So I just grabbed an old piece of tile that I had laying around the house from a home improvement project and I'm going to paint it with my chalkboard paint. I cut out a piece of felt and glued it to the back so it would work as a coaster. And here's one I made earlier that's all dry that we've already started scribbling on. So that's how you make chalkboard paint. I hope you make it in a million different colors and have fun scribbling everywhere this summer. 
Okay, how much fun, right? Let's do it. Let's have a crafty party. Thank you so much for joining us at Her Say. Please come back every day. And don't forget to sign up for our daily newsletter. You can also follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye. Bye.